Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, October 9th. Uh, so uh, I'm here, for those who don't know, I'm here in Central Florida. So uh, this, this is the morning of the hurricane that's heading our way, and um, it's, uh, it's a big one. I've been through many, uh, born and raised in Florida. I grew up in Fort Lauderdale. And so I've been through a number of, of hurricanes. Uh, this one's a big one of the, the, you know, the big serious parts of the surge, you know, the, and that's what's uh, uh, poor Tampa and that whole, that whole coast uh, coastal area is going to take a, take a big hit, but uh, we've seen a lot of people evacuate and pay attention to the evacuation. So that was, uh, that was good to see. Should be okay uh, where we are here in central Florida, kind of the punch comes out uh, for the most part of it. So I should be all good here. In fact, right now, just a light, light drizzle, uh, power's on, everything is as normal. So I had a chance to, uh, to, to get on live and talk about this. Uh, uh, Dwayne's not going to be able to make it uh, this morning. So flying solo here, but I was talking with Dwayne and um, he had mentioned some old, uh, old friends that, um, that we had talked about in the business. And a couple of them were getting together recently in the, uh, in the Carolinas and uh, it triggered a thought. And I said, well, you know what, I'm, I'm going to cover that, uh, cover that today. Cause it was a technique that we started teaching years ago about how to roll the profit into bigger deals. In other words, how can you start investing in notes with a smaller amount of capital and start to build it up? And one of the ways that you can do that is to simply buy notes, turn around and, and resell them, uh, and then resell partials and start to build it up that way. So you're you're building income, but you're also creating the back end, stacking the back end, as as we like to call it. So one of the guys who uh, he was talking about in Carolina uh, reminded me of this this example, utilizing this this technique, and I think you're gonna really uh, enjoy this uh, this one. So um, again, rolling small seed capital into income and and wealth. So this was a small property on a note uh, out in uh, Oklahoma. And um, again, we do a lot of uh, transactions in the Midwest and the in the Southeast because there's affordable housing there. I mean, you, people can can uh, still buy forty, fifty thousand dollar houses that are one or two story that have good square footage and are in good working class neighborhoods. You could see on the crime indicator in green there that there's basically crime free in this area. Nice four bedroom, one bath, fourteen hundred square feet, and uh, the numbers on on this one looked pretty good. The value was coming in at about 50,000 bucks. They only owed $18,000. So it was a small balance loan, $18,890 backed by a $50,000 house. But he was able to get that at a low enough price where his yield was 11.25%. So again, within that 10 to 12% range. And there were 72 payments left. And the payments, as you can see, are seven, uh, $373 per month. So with the UPB like this, and he pay, paid $16,679 for that note, that gave him enough margin where he could collect some payments and turn around and sell it. So that's essentially what he did. He paid $16,679 for the 72 payments of $373 per month. After collecting three of those payments, he turned around and sold the note to another investor for $18,278. Now that $18,278, it says, was sold uh, at par. And at par means he sold the note without a discount. Normally, when we talk about buying notes, we're always buying at a discount. Because again, if we go back the balance on this, when, when he bought it, was $18,890. He bought it at a discount for $16,679. So that bumped his yield well above the 11.25%. See, this note was already written at 11.25%. That's the interest rate on the note. But the return on investment, if you're buying at a discount, obviously goes up from there. All right? So if you were to buy this note at par... 18,890, you'd be making 11.25%, right? So he was able to find a good enough note where he could buy it at a good discount, uh, get a good yield, collect a couple of payments, collecting three, and then selling it to an investor at par, 
because again, that investor is still making 11.25%. So his initial seed capital has now grown. So now he's got $19,397. So he's increased it by several thousand bucks, right? So in 90 days, $2,700 profit on the $1,600 is, by the way, a 16% return. So he made a nice return, short-term, grew his seed capital. That was the goal of going into this. It's to build it and grow it. So he did that. Now, what does he do with the 19,397? Well, since we have steady inventory levels, he's already looking while he owns this note in the 90 days, he's already looking for that next note, right? We project all these numbers out. <clears throat> so the next note that he bought was this one, <clears throat> and this is in Tennessee. So again, it doesn't matter where the deals are. The first one was in Oklahoma. This was in Tennessee. We're looking at where are the deals, what fits in in the model here. So the same month he sold the one <clears throat> note, he turned around and bought this note. So this note had an unpaid balance of 30,000 written at 9%, 140 payments left. So a little more term there, $350 per month. He bought that note for $19,397. So he just used the, the seed capital that he had grown, bought this note. <clears throat> then what did he do on, on this note? Well, on this note, he was able to uh, go ahead and sell out a partial on it, which is eventually what you want to start, start to do. So again, we look at the crime, we look at the estimates, what the property values are worth, all those sorts of things. So on this one, he paid $19,350, sorry, $19,350, collected seven payments in this case, $2,400, sold 78 payments for $20,000 to another investor, and then he still owns 55 payments on the back end. Okay, so nineteen three fifty out collects twenty four hundred uh, and fifty dollars back over the seven months. So he's growing that front end. Okay, so then out of the payments that he has left, he sells seventy eight of them for twenty grand to another investor. So that twenty grand is coming in. So what's he created so far? He went from 19,350, seven months later, grew his seed capital to $22,450. But he still has money coming to him in the future. So in other words, after this investor who bought the 78 payments for $20,000, after he receives those payments, that next payment and the 54 following come back to the initial investor, the one who's growing the capital here. So the great thing about that is he's building the front. He now has $22,000 to what? Rinse and repeat, do the same thing. He's gonna take that $20,000. He's gonna buy another note, do the same thing, season it up a little bit, meaning collect some payments on it. He'll turn around and sell a part of that note. And then he's gonna have more money coming on the back end. Okay, so that's why we call it stacking the back end. Now, in this case, he just used money out of his checking account, that sort of thing, out of a savings account, what have you. You can also utilize this technique, of course, with IRAs. Okay, so imagine your IRA or your kid's IRA, you start doing this now, you're building up your capital, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years down the road, all of a sudden, these loans are either coming back and you're receiving payments in your IRA or they start to pay off. Because in this case, if this loan were to pay off, it could be in the 60th month, we'll say, uh, it pays off. Well, part of the money goes to the person who's uh, uh, bought the 78 payments because it happened during their ownership. So they have an entitlement, but you have an entitlement from the 55 payments as well. So if these loans start to pay off, lump sum comes in. If the loans don't pay off, then the monthly income comes in down the road, okay? So great technique where you can start, you can build up and, and start to uh, take advantage of the time value of, of money concept where you make money now, but you're also gonna be making future money either through an early payoff or monthly payments down, down the road. So great, great, great technique that uh, that you can you can utilize and implement and as you've seen by that case study 
it, it's it's not that much capital really to to get started with. And and the great thing is also during the whole time, your investment's protected because the collateral is worth more money than than you have in it. And uh, that's a that's a great thing to do. So where do you sell these these parcels? There's online sources that you can sell the parcels. Uh, my clients uh, who <clears throat> are in my mentorship program, um, I have a, a, a Wednesday evening session, member only session, um, and people are always welcome. Hey, I've got a deal, and and I'll look at it, I'll prove it, and say, yeah, this this looks good, and they they can sell parcels that way. Uh, and you could also go to any investment club. Um, family, friends, you know, uh, uh, that sort of thing who are looking for good, solid returns on investments. And people love it sometimes. When, if, if they're in a partial with you, they, there's a bit of comfort. You know, they may not understand the note business, but they know that you do. You're doing the business and you you're still have an interest in that note. You want to see that note be successful because that note eventually is coming back to you. So if something goes wrong in the note, of course, they're going to turn to you and say, what do we do? How do we work this out? And there are resolutions in all of these, uh, all of these things. So if it goes well, the results are obvious. If if the note takes a turn for the worst, there's always resolutions that we work out uh, with uh, with the investors. And um, uh, I had, uh, for example, just uh, on a separate example from, from what I was just saying, I just got an email yesterday. Uh, one of my clients bought a partial on a note. Um, Back in 2022, um, maybe maybe late 2021, early 2022, and the owner of the back end of the note, she wants to see if if my client wants to buy more payments. She wants to re, re, you know re, recapitalize on on some things there. So it's it's a great opportunity. So I just emailed them the other day and just said, hey. Uh, when you bought the partial, you've been receiving for the last couple of years. She wants to sell a couple of years more uh, payments. Um, uh, are you interested? You know, that sort of thing. So it's it's just when you think of these notes, think of them in terms of, of, of just long term income streams. That's really what they re represent monthly payments coming into the future. So uh, we can buy and sell these things very different than traditional real estate where you buy a property, you could sell it one time. And cash out with a note, you can sell it multiple times. So you got a 30 year note, you could sell five years and then five years go by, sell another five years, sell another five years, and just capitalize throughout the whole thing if, if you wanted to. So it's a very different uh, type of uh, uh, type of investment, but it opens up a lot of opportunities like you can uh, like you can see there. So that's all I had for you uh, today. And um, we've got, uh, I think we're all prepped around here. We're just kind of waiting for the uh, the storm to come around today. It's still got a couple of uh, things I need to do, but uh, uh, we've got some live trainings and such that we're going to be doing on on Zoom. So again, I'll, I'll let you know when we, when we have those. Uh, the storm kind of is going to delay things by a week before I can start getting the marketing out to everybody. Uh, so... Uh, I'll get that out to you. It'll it'll be advertised on on Facebook and on other sources as well. It will keep you posted uh, uh, about that. So there you go. Thanks everybody for tuning in, and uh, I'll talk to you real soon.